Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with, uh, it's getting repetitive here, yet another vinyl find video for February. I've had a lot of fun. I did well on my taxes, what can I tell you? Um, a lot of replacement stuff, um, especially in this next pile, uh, along with that Zeppelin stuff I showed you in the last video. God, my hair is terrible, isn't it? Oh well. Um, this is another group that I lost the majority of my material my albums and I'm in the process of getting their stuff back um, and that's Rush uh, I'll show you what I did find for Rush so far I pick these albums up it's another group that I gotta deal with after um, archives this album I picked this up primarily because uh, and all of you Rush fans know this is the first three Rush albums uh, rather than it was a cheaper, quicker way to get these albums, for now, until I find them uh, individually again. Uh, this is an original pressing. Uh, it's in it, The cover's beat up. You can see that it's a little uh, beat up. The vinyl's in good shape, uh, and it is an original. Uh, I, when did this? This was 78, right, guys? I think this was 70, 77, 78 this was, was issued. Um, but a really good record it has the first rush album uh fly by night i love the cover for fly by night it's such a wonderfully cool cover and caress of steel okay um the next one in the pile uh, an original pressing uh, of 2112 um this one is in really good shape some ring wear but uh, vinyl is in really good shape i think this is my favorite rush album musically just is yes, I grew up with this record, Keith Holt. Um, that goes in the pile for sure. This one was in a pile, and, and I, I, I haven't decided whether I'm keeping this one, or I, I do have a copy of this already. Uh, again, it might be one of the, like, the Led Zeppelin um, Houses of the Holy. Uh, the cover of this is in, in, got a little more ring wear than my copy, but I think that the vinyl in this is in better shape than my vinyl so um, we'll see i get to drop the needle and make it the you know determination but it's still an upgrade no matter how it it turns out to be you know so it's great go to uh 1977 i believe um and a farewell to kings original pressing of this record as well first pressing i believe first pressing or, or darn close to it again a little ring wear you know Thank God we don't play the covers now, do we? We play the vinyl. Um, a great record right here. Rush. Moving ahead a little bit. Ta -da! Love this record. Absolutely love it. And this is in fantastic shape. It actually came. These records, a lot of them I haven't cleaned yet and I haven't sleeved. Um, I actually have a big shipment of sleeves coming in today, so there's going to be some major sleeving going on here. Power sleeves. Uh, but this one came with one, and uh, the vinyl is in fantastic shape. And my last Rush album, at least that I recent purchases. Another one in fantastic shape. Not my favorite era of Rush. I know LJ was talking about how people have their favorite periods of Rush, and my favorite period was, um, I don't want to say I don't necessarily really dig this stuff, but this was, you know, kind of getting towards, you know, power windows and stuff was kind of like, eh, you know, not bad, but I preferred the, the heavier stuff, like 2112, you know. Not that this is bad by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, we'll go through um, a few more records here. Um... These were all great finds. These were all original pressings in really nice shape. I was so stoked to see these, and I grabbed them. Genesis. Don't have a heck of a lot of Genesis, but I've got some more now. A Trick of the Tail. In great shape. Original pressing. Very, very nice. Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Another fantastic record from the Peter Gabriel era. Uh, again, uh, an original pressing. Uh, yeah. An echo, right? Yeah, echo. In very nice shape. Very clean vinyl. And very clean covers. Selling England by the pound. What a pun. 
what a witty cover. I mean, uh, what a witty title for an album. Uh, an original pressing as well. Uh, in really, really, really super shape. A couple more here to go. This may be an upgrade for me. Um, I have this already on the wall. I don't... Again, i got to listen to it to see which copy is better. This is in really, really nice shape. The other copy I have, too, is in pretty nice shape. So maybe somebody will get it as a present someday. Who knows? Uh, one of these. I'm not going to keep both of them. They're both original pressings. But I saw this and I just... I couldn't say no. And then weathering. And the last one. And then there were three. 1978. Uh, this was one of them that was lost in my little incident. Storage incident. <laughs> so anyway. That's another vinyl find. There is more. Um, I'll get to it as soon as I can. Okay. Until next time, everybody. Peace and love.